Okay, as you can see, I'm sweating my butt off and we're actually working on the tree behind me, taking it down to build my shop. So, you can see I rented a boom lift or whatever you want to call it, some sort of lift to get you up. There's mom and dad working, Michaela working. So, got part of the trees chopped down over here, or the branches. He's coming up some of the small stuff we just chopped down, but we got all this off. So it's going at a slower pace, but it's going. So I'm gonna keep cutting and pick back a few whenever we get some more off the tree. It's getting a little darker out. And as you can see, we got truck hooked up to the tree. And I think we're getting ready to start cutting and pull it down. So got the old Chevy out here chains double strapped so hopefully it uh, will come down here in the next uh 10 15 minutes so something so i guess we'll see here in a second So it's actually the next morning and as you can see part of the tree is actually cut down now so Pulled it with the truck. He cut it with the chainsaw. What size? 16, a 16 inch chainsaw? 16 inch chainsaw. So still gotta cut it there, get the drop. And then the last piece, which is, should come down about the same. And it should be pretty easy. This is the big section. So pretty, pretty big tree to come down. Now it'll probably take about, I'd say probably about two hours to probably clean up this section of it. And then we drop the other section. The other section should only take about an hour, but we got part of our firewood we're gonna keep. This all has to come down. Eventually this will have to come out of the way. And then we have all of our other firewood over here or our brush. So, which will get moved today and taken down the road all the brush will at least all the firewood's gonna stay with us but going to get this all chopped up and catch back up to you whenever we have the other half done or something cool well it's dropped now just gotta clean up the debris and that will be it then i will have to pull the stump out of the ground and start prepping the ground for uh, level. And then obviously concrete, so I have to have rebar. I forget what the wrap's called that you put down the tarp material uh, so you don't have moisture in there. But tree is damn near almost completely done. You got this little stub left, which I think what I wanna do is kinda wanna keep sections of this and I kinda wanna make some end tables for my office inside the shop. But we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep uh, helping him chop us up, moving it, and catch back up to you when we make some more progress on uh, and stuff. out here sweating my butt off but i figured we would give you a update video on my shop as well as the pappy cap as you can see pappy cap is painted looking absolutely amazing i actually put lights in down there on my flight fab so at nighttime the flight fab lights up i don't know if i have any clips but if i do i'll throw in this video as you can see we got the if it's a Traco or a mini excavator, it's a little bitty one. It has air conditioning, that's all I know. But uh, Dad's in there right now. We're leveling out the ground where the tree was. As you can see, as you can see, the tree is actually out. 
and it was a pain in the butt. There's part of it, another part's behind the shed over there. But so far, I think I have the boom I had lifted, or the boom I had ordered, as well as this. I think I may be in $600, maybe at that. So we're pretty much going to do all the, all the work we can ourselves. I don't think it's going to be too crazy bad. He has built a garage before and it turned out to be pretty sweet. It was insulated and everything, all the electrical, but I don't think it's gonna be too crazy of a big deal, but we will get this leveled out and hopefully get the stakes in the ground to see where we're gonna pour the concrete. Yesterday, we got the tree stump removed and the ground dug up partially. And now I actually have the uh, equipment on the back of the truck, taking it back to return it. That's actually where I'm headed right now. There's a dog on the side of the road. Uh, so, a little, uh, kind of underestimated that tree stump a little bit, but we got it out and now we just got to grade the surface. I need to get my permits so we can actually start building. But other than that, it is damn near, uh, damn near on schedule. So, a little bit of a hold up with that tree stump, but we got it out. But, I think the next time I will make a video will be at the Wild Hoosier meet, so I hope to have this up before then. But I will uh, definitely be recording at the Wild Hoosier meet on July 29th, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, see some of y'all out there. But until next time.